Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Jack Sick, but I want to give a massive shout out to my boy EDZ for letting me use his account to record this gameplay. He pulled Sigma out of his free 10 box today, so definitely worth getting those challenges done, man, 100%, because um, I think that this, I mean, if you get any of these uh, pull like this, it can be an incredible, incredible thing, and it only takes 45 minutes max to do the challenges, so like, realistically 100 worth doing even if you don't pull anything because it doesn't take that long and there's always the chance you get something good like this i think this sigma card is going to be an absolute dog excited to try them out in this video before we happen if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 40,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and without further ado let's hop right into it so sigma is six foot 11 center 92 offense 97 defense a uh, 90 post game across the board, 90 mid range, 87 three ball, 90 free throw, 85 standing, and 80 driving dunk, 90 block, 92 interior, 80 steel, 84 perimeter, 90 rebounding. 78 speed isn't amazing, but I think it's okay. I would put a shoe on that boosts speed if possible, though. 84 agility, 85 vert, 90 strength as well. Uh, badge wise, Hoff post lockdown, box hub, beast rebound chaser, removable enforcer, paint prodigy, post power, as post up poet, and paint patroller. So elite interior badges on both ends of the court. And then he's got gold poster as a rise up, bailout, break starter, off ball, pest interceptor, pogo stick, brick wall, mini marksman, set shot specialist, versatile visionary, and high flying denier. And that's with no badges added. Now, I would add slippery off ball number one. Um, outside of that, probably limitless range number two. Number three would barely be challenger, maybe dead eye as well. And then the fifth badge is kind of up to you. Uh, what you want to add, I feel like, but he's pretty complete. I think he's got a lot of key badges. I mean, maybe a shifty shooter, but the thing that makes this card so good in my mind, in all honesty, is the jump shot because yes, he's only 78 speed. Yes, he's not a shot creator. You can play the four though, and he can play the five as well. So if you wanted to play the five, he's got the interior ability to do it. 6'11 with a 7'3 wingspan. I think against pretty much anybody but Wimby, he'll be totally fine. The thing is that jumper is absolutely nasty. I mean, it is super smooth super easy and nice and quick one of the better big man jumpers that i've used all year so you combine that with elite interior defense and really good interior offense as well the key hoff finishing badges and hoff defensive badges and things like that that's i mean this card's nasty and I, obviously like normal fade isn't the best fade in the game but it will get the job done and he is a really really great shooter with other i mean with everything else you kind of need from a power forward center too besides obviously playmaking but there aren't very many power forward centers that are playmaking level anyway so like is that a big deal? No, not really. I think this card, yes, he's only got 78 speed. You can live with it, man. Put a shoe on and the boost is three ball. Use a coach that boosts, I mean, the boost speed. Use a coach that boosts up speed as well if you can. Um, and let him go to work, man, because he's going to be one of those guys you have to respect from the outside at a crazy high level. Yes, he's not going to shot create for himself, but he can finish inside at a high level. He's an elite level defender, and he's an absolutely exceptional shooter, and he's going to be one of the best bigs in my team, legitimately. That's how high I am on Jack Sokol. I think when you think best diamond bigs, it's Jack Sokol and Jaron Jackson Jr. He is right there at the top when it comes to diamond big men and a competitive level card in my team. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what Jack Sigma can do. All right, we're going up against a dude who's got SGA, Dr. J, Paulo, Giannis, Miles Turner. Really solid squad, no doubt about it. Um, we got a great team as well, though, obviously, with uh, D-Book, Dr. J, Paulo, Sigma, and Wimby. So that's an incredible five. I feel like the Sigma card... Whether you want to start him at the four, put him off the bench at the four, put him off the bench at the five, whatever you want to do with your team, it all depends on the cards you have. But I feel like this card can do whatever you need out of a point guard. I mean, out of a power forward. And a, besides, obviously, that playmaking. But you can live without the playmaking, I feel like, for the most part. Downhill drive here. Try to hit the pop. Obviously, the one thing that he's going to struggle with in a gameplay situation is that he I have to playmake for him. He can't really playmake for himself. That's really good defense. I am getting sweated. I can tell already. All right. So... Uh, hopefully that 78 speed doesn't wind up being an issue. We'll have to wait and see. That's a good shot. And okay, so we are going to be gaming, it looks like, in this one, unfortunately. Um, I would love a free gameplay, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is. Downhill drive with uh, with Booker. I hit the pop. Obviously, I want to shoot that if I get any space at all. And there you go. I don't need much space to shoot the ball with confidence with Jack Sigma. And he drills his first three ball attempt of the game. This may not be the highest scoring gameplay, just quite simply because of the, I guess, limitations to a certain extent that this card has um, on the offensive end of the court as a playmaker. And so that does limit his ability to score the ball at a really high level. At the same time, though, he does, I, I mean, obviously, you, you saw right there, he doesn't need a ton of space to get his shot off whatsoever. And if he's not going to help off the pop at all or the roll, we'll take our dunk with Devin Booker. Clearly, y'all can see already, we are getting sweated in this gameplay. No doubt about it. 
Um, contest here, get through the screen. Contest, I think manually we got there. No, we didn't. And he's got his green animation off. Either that or he's hit two whites already, but I think he's probably got his green animation off. Clearly, we are getting sweated in this one, unfortunately. I mean, it is what it is, right? What are you going to do? Uh, people are going to try sometimes. That's how it is. That's There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm going to go pick and roll here. See if we can slip behind Giannis. If force, I'm forcing it a little bit. Yeah, it's a bad take. It is, that's not good offense for sure. Definitely not my best decision there um, to go up with that. But it's a gameplay. You're going to take bad shots sometimes. It is what it is, especially with a guy who's not really a playmaker in their own right. Sometimes you got to force a little bit. <laughs> I get backdoored out the corner. Ah, yeah, yeah. This dude's your typical unlimited sweat, man. Just X switch and everything. Face deep in the screen. Trying his butt off. What can you expect, I guess? It is what it is. Um, back up top. Sigma. Come on for this. See if we can get ourselves a little bit of space. I wanted to force it. It is not really there, though. He is trying, bro. You do not have to try this hard. Good pass. Good shot. There we go, Sigma. I again. It is what it is. I'm just griping. <laughs> but nice shot by Sigma. Again, show it off the elite level release to start off the game. Um, again, the playmaking is going to limit his scoring a little bit in this game, but he is playing really solid so far. And uh, I do like the fact that he's as good defensively as he is too. The only issue that I honestly have a concern with about Sigma is the speed. And I don't think it's that big of an issue um, for the most part. Cut off the dribble drive and look at the block. Jack Sigma boxing Giannis. Love to see that. Throw it up to Dr. J in transition. Pull up three. Oh, that's a nice shot. And we take it and knock it down. Dr. J hitting the three ball. And we have ourselves an 11 to 10 lead so far. Like I said, this may not be the highest scoring gameplay for Dr. J or for Sigma, but we are going to do our best to involve him as much as we possibly can. Throw the slip inside, reset up top. I'm shooting it over him with Wimby. Wimby just can shoot over anybody. I know that was probably an open contest. I missed it, but I can shoot over basically anybody. That might have been a little bit of a force, though. It is what it is. Um, stay in front here of, of SGA as best as we can. X switch the screen. He's going to quick slip it for a dunk. It's good offense. That's good offense. I split the screen and he quick slipped it. Gonna try to, ah, this may not work, but I'm gonna try to back to Giannis. It's not there at all. Um, back to this pick and pop here. Back it out. Push cross downhill. See if we can force an X switch. No, we can't. I low key could have shot that. You see how much he has to respect Sigma already with the jumper. Like we get a dunk off of that because he's scared of Sigma's release shooting the ball. And that gives us a free dunk in a situation that most power forwards aren't really getting it. But he closes out hard and jumps because he respects Sigma's jumper so much. That's bad defense by me. I gave up the pop way too easily there. That's just not acceptable, honestly, to play defense like that. Um, six seconds left in the quarter. Try to attack downhill. Get over there. Back to Sigma. Shot. Eh, nah, it's not a very good shot. Still a good quarter for him, though. Very, very solid performance so far. Eight points. Looking really good on offense and on defense. Good board by Jack Sigma. That Hoff rebound chaser coming into play right there. We're running the floor in transition. Ah, 78 speed don't look too bad. He, he kind of moving up the court a little bit. I see it. Uh, I had the shot there with Booker, too. My bad. Reject the screen. Attack downhill. I guess we take our dunk because he's not helping off much of anything. I might have had Wimby up top, but we'll take it. Just can't force too much, especially in a little bit of a sweatier game. He's got two-way in his name as well. I'm just Ty Debo fan, probably. That's what that means. Good contest. And Jack Sigma, again, Hoff box out beast. Hoff rebound chaser. Gets himself another board. Um... That is such a fluke. That's a bad pass by me, though. I mean, I, I can blame it on the game if I want, but oh, my. He just blocked the shot, and then they called a foul a second and a half after he blocked the shot, it felt like. It may not have been a second and a half, but I don't know about that one. That felt like a clean block to me. I like this card defensively, man. That was a bad pass by me that led to that turnover and transition. Definitely my fault, but it is what it is. Downhill drive again. Booker hop step through. Wrong corner. I think I had Paula wide open, Loki. Um, again, I mean, I really want to shoot the ball with Sigma. I'm not really trying to score with other people, but you can't force with a guy who's not really a shot creator. And that is clearly the one and only real flaw with this Sigma card. But dude, I see, I mean, Splash got this Sigma card out of a diamond hidden gym uh, a couple weeks ago or probably a month ago at this point. And he's been using him like in his starting lineup a lot. And I see why, because Sigma's jumper is insane. He's really good defensively. I mean, if you are looking for a big, I'm not sure there's a better big to use than Jack Sigma as like a four or five out of the diamonds. I mean, it's him and Jaron Jackson. Jaron has more speed. Sigma's a little bit better as a shooter, I'd say. But they're pretty similar cards. And I feel like they give you both a lot of value on the offensive and defensive end of the court. Uh, just the one thing he can't really do is shot create for himself. And I'm forcing a little bit there, just trying to get a three ball up. Ah, it limits the gameplay a little bit, unfortunately. Just, just can't score as much as I'd like because he doesn't have movement. But it is what it is. That's how, that's how sweat games work, unfortunately. 
Sometimes that's the annoying part about doing gameplays in a tier one showdown is sometimes you'll match against sweats. That's a great board. Again, you see the Hoff rebound chasers. He's skying for another board. Like I love what I'm seeing out of this card. Even if it's not the highest scoring gameplay you've ever seen, like he's really playing well. Um, and we're going to go pick and roll here instead of pick and pop. See if we can get going downhill here. Push pop him out to the top of the key for a three. That's beautiful. You got to step up manually there. Like that's a great push pop. And he doesn't need much space again to get his three ball off. I love to see it. And another board. Look at the Hoff rebound chaser. He's flying for rebounds. Looking very athletic as a rebounder. And I... No, 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 no. That's tough. That's really unfortunate. I just... I guess that double team worked out. I think Sigma was about to be open too, which is tough. But it is what it is. And he's also kind of boxing Giannis. Like, I got to say, I feel like he's doing a really good job in that aspect. That's not bad defense. I jumped manually to contest with Dr. J. And I'm pretty sure that was probably a lightly. And he greened it. So, you got to give credit where it's due, I guess. Um, back to Sigma, come here, good pick and roll, slip the screen, back up top, get in the post. Can you dog him out on the post? He's freaking tired. He's not going to be able to get this. Um, I... Ugh, offensive three. My bad. Just again, trying to force too much for a gameplay. It is what it is. Not great offense there, but that's going to happen. Um, either way, I think I've seen basically everything I could possibly ask for out of the Sigma card. Like it's not been the perfect gameplay, but he's playing as a whole really really well that is great defense and 100 percent should have been a steal i played that perfectly kind of annoyed at 2k right now for not giving me a steal on that one because i deserved it and that's going to be an open three and he's going to green it <sighs> just like one step too late unfortunately that's just not an easy play um it is what it is i guess it is what it is um good move said j dr j dr j three ball good screen by sigma and we get ourselves another three very much a sweaty matchup right now, but I think Sigma is fitting in perfectly. As y'all can tell, he is very much a competitive level card. No doubt about that in the slightest. Um, play this. Oh, that's a good. It's my bad. It's not good defense there. Tried to bait the, uh, the, the next pass ahead, but this dude is. I mean, I'll give him credit. He's a good player. He knows what he's doing. He's very clearly a very capable my team player. Um, but that's another great shot. We are hoping, man. Sigma with 11 points, four rebounds in the first half. What a really nice first half by Jack Sigma. Very impressed by this card, in all honesty, and that's great defense too. And we will close out the half with a four-point lead. Sigma finished with 11, 4, 4, 7, 3, of 5 from 3. This card is really, really good. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace!